Welcome to day, last day of uh, March 31st, 2023. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mike DeMora will join us first. Special appearance uh, today by Sue Hatfield. She's got a uh, column out in the uh, day, so I want to check in with her for just a couple of minutes. We don't have a lot of time. She's very busy this morning, but we're going to grab her for a few minutes. Uh, congressional candidate Mike France, Mitch Lettuce, uh, a check-in from the sports doctor who will come on into the studio at 8 o'clock. We'll chat with him about uh, some NCAA basketball stuff and uh, some more sports stuff as well. And Rick Coster will wrap up the show at 9.35. There'll be plenty of time for phone calls, plenty of time to talk about what is on everybody's mind, which was inevitable here that Trump was going to get indicted. So we'll start with that and probably end with that. But So what I observed last night, after the Trump indictment, was almost this giddy feeling from Democrats. And even, you know, CNN, MSNBC, those pundits, folks from uh, our own newspaper, folks from, let's say, any of the other liberal-leaning websites, almost have like a, a celebration last night. Text message after text message from some of my more left-of-center friends in a wild celebration about the potential that the former president will be taken away in handcuffs. 32 counts against the president of fraud, former president of fraud. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable to watch this unfold. So on Tuesday, he'll probably have to surrender himself, and it'll be an absolute media firestorm, a free-for-all. There'll be protests, I'm sure, outside. The base of Donald Trump will, of course, be beside themselves. We all should be beside ourselves to a certain extent here this morning. And the reason why is because we need, let's put it this way, this needs to be a legitimate 32 count case of real charges against the former president or we are 100 percent living in the middle of 1984 and the president the current president of the united states should have a press conference today and put an end to this this charlatan of a president, this shadow of a leader, this crook who's in the White House, whose family is similar to the Gotti family or any other mob family that's ever existed, worse than them, he should come out today, put an end to this. If these charges are not serious charges. If these charges surround around paying off a porn star for a one-night stand because Trump was trying to win a presidential election, then the media has become completely weaponized. The judicial system has become completely weaponized. And we are living in a banana republic. And that that time, that time to rise up and push back against the tyrants is closer. It it took a tick of the clock closer to Armageddon. If all they have, if all they have is surrounding Stormy Daniels and there's nothing else, there are so many layers to this. I don't even know where to unpack it, where to begin. First of all, it'll be a monumental mistake for the Democratic Party. Politically speaking, monumental. Because it will embolden folks who are on the fence to side with Trump. Absolutely, I'm 1,000% sure of that. Those folks who are like, eh, I don't need the headache with Trump. Let's try somebody else, please, or I'll just stay home. If we find out that they run him through the ringer and try to embarrass a former president of the United States who has a huge legion of fans, 
right? Huge. He has an equal or greater number of folks who can't stand him, but he has a huge following. 30%, 35%. Think the man can do no wrong. That is a powerful beginning. If you fuel that fire with people who are in, in the middle and are curious about whether or not anything in government is trustworthy, and you try to take down a man for sleeping with a porn star and then paying her off because it was going to be an embarrassment to his family during an election? Now, is that a flaw in character? Of course it is. Is that something you can look upon somebody and say, well, well, that's a great trait. You cheated on your wife probably multiple times with a porn star. And now you're going to pay her off to shut her mouth? Of course it's not a, a, a look on the positive side of character. But is it a reason to arrest a man? A, pre- a former president, for that matter? It's a, again, it's, it's simply this. The, Demo- <laughs> the Democrats are banking on this. This is where they're making a mistake. They want the 2024 election to be about Donald Trump. Okay, I can understand that because they certainly don't want to run on their own record. The Democrat record is abysmal. What they brought to the table is a clown show. This whole wokeism that seems to has as well seems to infiltrate every single sector of our population, every, you know, every business entity, every level of everything. Take that along with the explosion in inflation, how nobody has any money in their pocket. We can go down the whole laundry list of things that have gone wrong in the first two and a half years of Joe Biden's presidency. My time is too valuable right now to list them all again. But the Democrats don't want to run on any of that. They don't want to run on the, the way the, the world is right now, the way the country is right now. So what do they do? They want to paint a picture and have every single night the national news show Donald Trump in some courtroom somewhere while he's still running, goes to a courtroom during the day, and then, what, with an ankle bracelet on, he has a rally with 50,000 people that night? That's what they're banking on. That's what they want to make the news. They don't want to make the news about the ineptness of the president of the United States. They would rather have you focus on Donald Trump with an ankle bracelet on. Politically, it is in a, just an in, it's in an incalculable mistake for them. Because he will, without question, become a martyr. If this is all they have. Now, again, this is in the infancy stages. We don't know what they're actually going to charge him with. We're making the assumption that it's going to be simply about Stormy and the night of passion between Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels. And for her, her again, wanting to make money on the deal to open her mouth, which has been open 100 million times in the past for a variety of different reasons. She was going to open it again. He stuffed him some $100 bills in it, and she shut up for a while. Now, don't take any of this as me excusing away any of this stuff, because I'm not. But for my political friends and pundits to get giddy about it, I find that funny. I find that laughable. Oh, it's a celebrate. It's a celebration. Is it really a celebration? Are you sure about that? Are you positive? Because I think if this is all you got, <clears throat> the 35% of Donald Trump loyalists overnight becomes 50%. Those people on the fence who look at this government and look how it's weaponized, the arms and the tentacles of it from the IRS right on again to the Judicial Department, right on down to the media, Oh, man, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. And even best case scenario for what the Democrats think the best case scenario is. If somehow you were able to put Donald Trump in in leg irons and wheel him off to to a prison cell. and Have the gavel come down. On uh, on a guilty verdict and have Trump go away to prison before the 2024 election, you're going to have DeSantis waiting in the wings. Who's in, 
by the way, who may be a better candidate. May be more likable to the masses. This is a fascinating case, man. We don't know enough about it. It's hard for me to make, you know, all of the judgments here this morning. But looking at it again from the quote unquote thirty thousand foot view, man, they better have more than Stormy Daniels. Don't you think? Do you think as a Democrat listening to me right now, turning on the radio to see what I was going to say today, as a Democrat who hates Trump, who can't wait to see him go to jail, do you think this is a good thing for the Democrat Party? Do you think this is a good thing for the nation, by the way? And can I ask all my friends who are giddy today about the potential for leg irons for Donald Trump, will you be equally as giddy? If all of the lines from the Hunter Biden fiasco and what appears to be millions and millions and millions of payoff dollars from foreign governments to the Bidens, if this all comes to fruition and we find out that the Bidens were power peddling the position of vice president, are you going to be equally as giddy when that family goes away in in leg irons? I'm curious about that. I had a quote today in the paper, same quote that everybody else has, which is nobody is above the law. I believe that 1,000%. And if Donald Trump broke the law, fine. Prosecute him. If I were Trump, I'd say, let's do it. Run me through the ringer. Let's get this thing over with. In particular, if they're misdemeanors, I'll pay a fine and I'm done. It'll show the absurdity. Paying off a porn star to shut her mouth because, well, you didn't want your family to find out about it? Or you didn't want to be embarrassed in the public eye? That's a jailable offense? Man. It's funny. Up until 2018, you realize that there was a slush fund in Washington for congressional folks who were accused of sexual harassment and infidelity. And it was a payoff. So if Senator X or Congressman Y diddled his secretary and she didn't like it or sexually harassed someone, they didn't like it and they wanted money, there was a slush fund that the congressional folks could dip into. By the way, that slush fund was paid for by me and you. It's public public money. And because it got such, well, it got pressed, nobody knew about it, to 2018, to save face, they had to vote it out. Well, that was around for a while. You realize that. When you live in a glass house, I don't know how they can, in good conscience, throw stones. So we'll see what happens. It's a huge story. It's never happened before in the history of this country. All I can say is in the end, they had, they had better get a convicted felony, uh, convict, convicted felony, a felony conviction. They had better get a felony conviction out of this. Otherwise, you've created a martyr and you've actually moved a whole bunch of people from, I don't know, to, yeah, I'll vote for Trump again. I truly believe that. You've moved them from, eh, it's such a pain in the ass. You know what? I'll vote for him. I'd rather have his shenanigans than the criminal enterprise that's in power right now. now this is what's happening politically. This is my, my like, to me, I think, I mean, I'm being honest with all of you right now. Like today on the 31st day of March, barring something cataclysmic. And cataclysmic could have happened yesterday. Like, if you just had this thing, if you, if you had a, an, an election of a campaign and then a, an election in November of 2024, okay, I don't think Trump can win. Because I think so many people are in that, eh, I don't want to do this again with him. So either I'll sit home or I'll, I'll go a different direction, right? This is what must is just my own political, I've been, been doing this for a long time. This is just me. I don't think he can make up the amount of votes he would need to make up to win a general election. Certainly he could win a primary. 
So what you've done now, Democrats, I think, and you would think that they were smarter than this, but what you've done, I think, is you now have actually energized a group of people to now sit back and watch this thing, like this middle group, this people, these people who either didn't vote last time for him or decided to vote for a third party or said, let's, try, let's just get him out and we'll try something new. We'll go Whatever it is that they decided to do in 2020, right, to give Biden this illusion of a, re- a record number of votes, they may watch this unfold and say, wait a second, you're dragging a former president through the mud for a payout for Stormy Daniels for a night of sex? That's what I'm watching? That's what he's charged with? That's what my judicial system is going after? That's what the, the political powers that be are forcing, you know, are like a laser beam their power on Donald Trump? Well, if they can do it to Trump, they can do it to me. They can do it to anybody. And I think what you would do is you're going to move a bunch of people who are in that middle. You're going to move them from, I don't know what I want to do, to, yeah, okay. I'd rather have this person and his character flaws in the White House than people I know are complete criminals. Again, that's my own 30,000 foot view. And it's hard to sort of dissect it all without knowing exactly what charges, which are felonies, which are not. But if it's all misdemeanors, if it's all misdemeanors, watch the Trump flags come out. Every household in suburbia will be waving a blue and white Trump flag if there's not a, a felony conviction behind this. These days you can't get a man to work. People get married and they still flirt. Don't pledge allegiance to a-